You know what? Do I hate when German Shepherds die? Yes. Is the video game? Absolutely. Do any of those dogs in the video game exist? Nope. They don't. It's a I video my game. Bike down, I ran my bike down the hill. A, a giant hill. So now apparently they're also upset about the uh, the finisher where you uh, unleash a dog unleash a, like dogs on the enemies. And if you don't know in, in video in um Call of Duty, there's these things called backstabs. So if you go behind a player and you hold the melee button, you could do a special like finisher that one shots them. Now one of these finishers is actually when you call German Shepherd to basically kill. Th it's it what. I, I I had no problem with that. No one has a problem with that. A pack of dogs on okay, Peter, yeah, put the word reward in quotation marks. Like, you have any legs to I stand have to go on. Over to eat. Your that reward in games is literally videos of animal abuse that are typically stuck in the middle of games that kids play. The article then talks about the students who protested it. And what they're saying here is actually so stupid. They talk about how killing dogs in games isn't a form of entertainment. And it may make some people do it in real life. So first of all, yep, guys, I actually killed a dog in Call of Duty. I'm I'm gonna go take a shotgun and murder my sweet puppy. No, I'm not. You wanna know why? Because I don't let video games influence me that way. Don't, well, what's it called? Have I let video games influence me? Yes. For example, I love radiology from Fallout 4. What did I do? I literally went to learn about it. But. Fair back, I gotta go eat. Yeah! yeah. That's right. If you, if you killed a Minecraft dog in a game, you are more likely to take a like to kill a real dog and pour it into PETA which you know it's funny every time they say dog shit like that they don't even link they link their own source that's like saying that's like me saying the earth is flat here is proof and then linking my own source saying their, their earth is flat like if you link your own source that doesn't make it credible if I go if I read somebody like the, the report and it says and then they and they link their own source. I'm less likely to trust that source. Yeah, video games do not cause violence. We've had this discussion. So if people play Call of Duty and get influenced to kill people in real life, that's fine. But if they get inspired to kill dogs in real life, uh-uh, that's terrible. Less than a month ago, Peter released an article and a video about the top things to do in Elden Ring. This is one where I just don't know people. Okay, I do not... For the sake of this video, I do not play Elden Ring, but I have seen people my, like my friend play it, and there are oh, I I know it's it's gonna be scary when I say this, even though it's a medieval game. There's I, do, should I even say this on camera? There's animal hides. Yes, there's animal hides, and I know it's weird that people used animal hides back in the old day, back in your old like the freaking like 1500s. I know I don't know anything about Elden Ring, so yeah. Anyway, like, it doesn't even make, like, like, <laughs> bruh, okay, L let's continue. Tensions here. So let's just quickly go through the list. Number one, take your dogs for a walk. Number two, harry enemies to knock them off horses so they don't exploit them. Number three, observe wildlife from a safe distance. Number four, check out an animal sanctuary. Number five, spend a peaceful moment with the animals. Number six, buy a beast repellent torch to let animals know that you mean no harm. The video and article um with this giant lobster killing the player with the text, the animals and the lands between <laughs> I just watched the video of a lobster murder someone and it says go vegan. Yeah, the animals, we don't mean the animals harm. You know, we don't want to kill these animals that are giant mutated monsters that murder humanity. Definitely don't want to murder them. Oh my god, this is cancer. Your respect. What the 
the hell are you talking about? I'm not gonna respect anything that tries to pitch me to death. Okay, no so kidding! The that they present everything here is kind of silly, but at the end of the day, they're not really saying anything bad about Elden Ring, so I really can't complain here. Which is really weird, it seems like PETA just kinda cherry picks which games to hate on and which games to love. Animal Crossing, where you move into a town full of animals and they can- I Elden Ring, a game where you can brutally murder many animals. Yay! So in this article, they're basically... ...and Elden Ring are pretty cool. You should appreciate them. And this is the most recent article by PETA that's gonna be in this video. Okay, can I say this? Video games are fiction. Video games... This game, this planet, these tools... They do not exist in real life. Nothing in this game is occurring in the real world. So what the hell is saving a bunch of fictional animals in a video game? Literally, literally just electricity and code in your screen. I know not code, but I, I, like, you know, you don't get me. Like, it does, if I kill an animal, it doesn't even exist in real life. Who cares? Holy shit! Oh my god, they're woke! So maybe they're done trashing on video games? It's hard to tell right now. Give them a little bit more time and then we'll see what happens. It's also worth mentioning directly under PETA's tweet about this article is this video. Can I kill a bird? Fucking PETA. <laughs> And this just goes to show you that people are still clowning on PETA even in the modern age. PETA is mad at Far Cry 6 for having a cockfighting minigame. They urged... The okay, I will say right now, it is... Like, maybe that's not right to have a, a cockfighting. If you don't know what cockfighting is, it's a sport apparently where people fight with roosters and they bet. Which I will admit, that is a pretty shitty thing to do. I hate roosters, okay? And that, that is kind of too far. I will not lie. But the thing is, is that... As much as I kind of disagree with it... It doesn't exist. Like... You want to go, like, fight with, like, animals in real life? Oh, like, you're a piece of shit, honestly. Like, I don't really care. Like, I, I don't really think you should... Okay, that's weird. I don't even think you should, like... Do that. Offline. It's a video game. It's a work of fiction. Go ahead. Whatever you want. That's not controversial in your video game. To replace it with a mini game that doesn't glorify cruelty. This is just another example of oh. putting animals in front of but people. But again, if like the the developers want that in the game, who cares? It's their game. Peter has to step in. They do the same thing with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Assassinating people is fine, but as soon as you start glorifying whaling, then it's a problem. And just like with Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed tries to be historically accurate. It makes no sense to leave out whaling if the people who made the game want it in. Like, what's the real argument here? So, whaling is illegal in most of the world, frowned upon, and killed an innocent creature. Okay, that's fair, but if that's the reason you're taking it out of your video game, then you should probably exclude murder as well. And if you don't, you're either a hypocrite or have really, really messed up priorities. In the exact same vein of the whaling article, PETA attacks a game called The Red Lantern for having dog sledding in the game. This next- Oh my god! Huskies are built to do this! They are literally genetically built to pull sleds. They can work 100 miles a day. In fact, it's almost abuse. Almost. If you don't work these things, huskies love work. They love doing that. It's in their blood. Literally, huskies need to exercise. My god. Might be one of the biggest stretches that I have seen from PETA's perspective. So PETA wrote a public letter to Nintendo. They're, they're literally called Siberian Huskies. Do you know what Siberia is? It is one of the coldest places on Earth. And that's not, I'm not saying if you name something, it's gotta survive that temperature. I'm saying Huskies are damn built for their job. They were 
were angry about how the 1-2 switch cow milking minigame was not realistic. Personally, I was upset that the wizard minigame wasn't more accurate, but to each their own, I guess. Essentially, Nintendo isn't showing the evil side of milking cows, and they say that milking cows is never pleasant for the animals, which is just a lie. Actually, if you don't milk a cow, it can get diseases! What? What happens if you don't milk a cow? Let's see. Let, let, I'm gonna... Okay, so this is coming from Unbottled.net. Daily farming. So I, I guess... It, farmers have... While going too long between milking shouldn't happen, if a cow goes too long without being milked, milk will build up in her udder, causing it to become full. This will cause her to become uncomfortable. Whoa! This doesn't happen to be a normal amount of times between milking. If a cow is in the middle of her lactation and producing 8 gallons of milk per day, when at a specific time without being milked, it could cause bruising, udder injury, sickness, and if continued result in death. This will take many consecutive days without me not months, not weeks, days. Whoa, it causes pain if you don't milk a cow? Uh-oh. In fact, milking a cow will relieve it of its pain. It's either you milk the cow or you damn shoot it. Pick one. All those people that say milking and don't milk cows and spare them? No! They're going to die! You dumbass. Yeah, there is a lot of cruel farms out there that probably don't make it pleasant. And yes, there yep, I'm gonna admit it right now. I will I will definitely dub down and say this. There are pieces of shit that already lock cows up and just like like a freaking Minecraft animal and exploit the hell out of them. That is effed up. But at the same time, we have to get milk one way or another. Now there was actually this one autistic lady that built this machine that would slow, that would peacefully kill this cow because if your cow is killed in stressful environment, it will actually cause the meat quality to drop. I did not know this, but once I did, that actually pretty shed some light on some cows. Cows on my back. It's like to say that a cow never enjoys being milk is just wrong. And at the end of the day, just look at this game. Are you saying you want Nintendo to just throw some real cow abuse in the middle of this otherwise goofy and lighthearted game? Actually, knowing Peter, that's probably exactly what they would do. Oh yeah, by the way, this letter is from the president of PETA themselves. You know the board game operation where you try to get the You know the harmless game? Oh no, they're gonna turn it to a shit. Oh, they did it. I knew it. Which is the same game but with a monkey. And it's supposed to highlight how terrible it is to test on monkeys. I believe this was only made for a video. I don't think any real versions of it. Yeah, what's it going? I will double down. I will say this. Monkey testing on monkeys is absolutely horrible. If you do it, you're horrible. If you do it, I condemn you. You are absolutely awful. I have no respect for people that test on monkeys. You are like bottom of the bottom of humanity. Like the silver monkey experiments, that was awful. That is absolutely heartbreaking. The cows, yeah, nummy. This video doesn't show you any like animal abuse or anything really messed up. It just shows you monkeys in cages and with all the editing that they do, it makes it look a little creepy, but that's about it. I'll show you a small chunk of it. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's a little unsettling, no doubt, and I could have done this in a little more tasteful way, but I really don't think this one crosses any lines at all. Hunting Simulator 2 is exactly what it sounds like, and PETA hates this game for exactly the reason that you would think. Not much Dude, v PETA, stop! The video game, let me guess. Like, if it was racist, attack it. Homophobic, attack it. If it was, like, sexist, attack it. 
it's animal is species is there's I, I don't see a harm in this game it's just you hunt animals in fact you know what if I were PETA I'd be endorsing this game because if people are hunting animals on video games they're not killing animals in real life as much as what I would think in fact also you want to hear this funny thing do you know when video games were introduced the amount of homicides in the United States were dropping yeah said here just that hunting is an okay for him to PETA and that their recommendation would be hunting in my opinion is almost kind of good now the, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now there are there is two types of this there's hunting and there's poaching hunting is when you controllably kill an ammo population control is the key poaching is when you overkill a population to the point of near or complete extinction poaching is absolutely horrible I do not like poaching. Like some people have to hunt to survive, especially in third world continents like Africa. Oh my god, my s wait, hold on. Who made that game? What game is it called? PETA loves this game because the goose is in charge and is finally able to rebel. I didn't know that geese were that oppressed. But I mean, hey, this article is positive, so I can't be mad. Oh, Untitled Goose Game. Who was it made? Panic. Push by Panic Players. Wait, this guy, they, they look like they made... Ben es Esposito. What remains of Edith Finch in the unfinished swan? Did he? Did he make? He looks like he made this game. I don't know. It looks very similar. My sister have has that game. It's fun. Apparently. The Sims 3 was also praised by Peter. Apparently, it's the most animal friendly game of 2009 because you can go vegan. That's Whoa, you can? Friend. I didn't okay, care. Let's go back to being mad at Peter That stupid idiot got my way and got himself killed. You want to die? They released this statement. It does start off fine. They say that they're saddened and talk about how they've made great games like Nintendogs, which is a game that PETA has praised in the past. But then the article says, Our love for these games powered the parodies we've made, such as Super Mario Bros. and Pokemon Spoofs, which is total BS. Those games are not tasteful parodies at all. PETA makes all of the Nintendo characters look bad in them every chance they get. In the StarCraft article, it says, People often wonder what PETA has against video games, especially after playing our Pokemon Black and Blue or Super Tanuki Skin 2D parody games. Later in that article, it's because that everything's fueled by their love for video games. But here they ignore They have a love to make people pissed. Positively, so at this point, they know what they're doing. And they never try to backtrack from these games at all. It then goes on to talk about how...
how they make these games to raise awareness to themselves. And in other articles, they admit to making these games just to capitalize off their popularity. Another example is them plugging their games again when Nintendo and McDonald's partnered up. PETA is using Satoru Iwata's death as publicity for their terrible Wow. Fuck you, Pita. Let's now get off You can screw off, bro. These two games are adult swim games that are very similar to games that Pita would make. The first one is Tofu Hunter. Like I said, this game is an adult swim game, but it was also <laughs> made by Mrs. Pong, which is the team that made the two Pita games. Breast not animal tits. <laughs> and meat is murder the game. Anyway, this game is stupid. I mean, just look at this. I highly don't even want to give you guys any context and just leave you with this. But don't worry, I'll dive into it all. I don't think you can still play this game online, but it is well documented. Wait, what is that? Parody of one of those deer hunting games, but now with tofu. What the hell? Tofu and other vegan foods in the wild. You can choose from different objectives. You can change your weapons and upgrade them. And when you do well, the game decides to berate you. Visually, this game doesn't look very good, but by PETA standards, it's honestly fine. This game clearly has a lot more polish to it than most games made by PETA as well. And it does look like it plays okay, so I don't know, it looks like a legit enough game. And I'm sure I could have some fun with it if I played it with an open mind. This definitely would be one of the better PETA games if it was one. So what's the message of this game? I don't know. Since this is an adult swim game, it's hard to tell. The game gives you plenty of hints to go vegetarian, so it's really hard to tell if they want you to go vegetarian or if this is just a joke to them. Polar Bear Payback is a game where polar bears get payback. It's a beat-em-up. You play as a polar bear to kill steel clubs. Oh, God. If he does one beat-em-up, this game does look a bit better, but not by much. This game is still playable online, but guess what? I don't want to play it. I'm done playing games like this. I'm just so sick of it. So I'm just going to go off the one video that I found. And in it, the person only beats the first level, so I guess that's all I'm going to say about it. Either way, I just find it funny that other game studios are making similar games to PETA. I'm not sure why Adult Swim made these. If I had to guess, I would say they're just trying to be edgy and funny. And yeah, if I played these games as a kid, I would probably enjoy it, but I was a dumb kid back then. Real quick, while editing, I just found they also plugged a game called Beef Bash. It's not an Adult Swim game, but it's just as stupid as the rest of the PETA games. It has you killing animals the entire time. Time, has dialogue that looks like it's straight out of a PETA game, and it's just so bad. That's all I wanted to say there. Those are all of the video game articles by PETA that I found. I'm sure there's more out there, and if there is, definitely send them my way. And now make sure you're subscribed, because I am never going to stop making fun of PETA. Every single time, I think I only have like one or two more PETA videos left. I either find something new or come up with a new idea, so stay tuned for at least like another month of- PETA has gone too far with these That's games. To live is the journey. That's why Bridgestone is relentlessly seeking ways to improve it. Hello? Oh. Okay, be right back. I need to On let my pupper out. Come here, mother pupper. Get it, cause puppy pup.
so I really need to get going. So with mostly all of the mechanical parts of this build out of the way, I can get back into my comfort zone and start making two of it. I spent the next hour designing three and designing it, and after that was done, all I had to do was put it on. That proved to be a lot harder than I thought. It was about half of the whole size of the wood. I had it up right out of the crate, they were all supposed to put it, but I managed to get it on with barely any breaking. With that done, it is basically the moment of truth. If these pillars I had built were not strong enough to push and put it back or to shut the machine off, there was no way I could compactly strengthen them to fit within the confines of this entire machine. So if this didn't work, then it was all for luck. But to my surprise, it actually worked. But because all of this took so long, I took the popular phrase quality over quantity to heart and gave myself an extra week to work on this build because there was no way I was finishing it. And before I started building the outer shell to make everything look good, there was one final thing I needed to add to make this game a little bit harder. I'm going to add a couple clouds along the path at the lower point so that you have to actually go up and down to avoid all the speed. And after adding that and a black backdrop behind everything so it was a little less distracting, all I had to do was just make it pretty and it was ready to be played. Because of how big this thing is actually turning out, I decided that I'm not going to submit these other ideas because this is not something they would consider. But after a bunch of trial and error, I went with a gray link based power model and ran out of pieces. So it only looks like a of crap, but I'm only going to show it to you. It doesn't matter. To make it a little brighter, I added a yellow ring around the screen area, with a little speedometer on the side. And with all of that done, it worked, it looked good, and now it's time to actually play the game. this game is actually a lot harder than I anticipated. But here's how it works. This is probably the most electronic <laughs> I just saved my dog from a world of hurt. It almost touched both ends of a car battery. Oh, yeah. thank God I got her. Do you want to get on? Maybe later. Okay. out there even if it's no longer playable and today i'm going to cover the final PETA games i have yet to talk about all of these games have been lost in time so i can't play any of them but lucky enough i found footage of all of them on youtube including this insane quiz where they compare holy the shit company to the kkk if that's not slander then i don't know what oh my god okay uh, quick shout out to a couple people one being none man he has done an insanely good job at documenting these PETA games. Most of the gameplay footage that you will see in this video is by him. Without him, I wouldn't be able to show you any gameplay for a few of these games. Not to mention the fact that I wouldn't even have known about some of these games if it wasn't for him. The second person is Dust Donnie. They're the one who gave me the idea to play Kid Squad in the first place. And of course, this one video sparked this now nine video series, which quickly became my most popular series on my channel by far. Thank you both for the help so much. Now let's check out all of the PETA games that have been lost to time. There's this game Luckily called lost to time. You, where you feed him dairy and he spews. It's very stupid and very of its time and that's all I'm gonna say on him. Next is How Green Is My Diet. 
It's less of a game and more of a calculator that shows you how many animals you'd save if you were a vegetarian. And other Next is Dress Up the Trollsons. You know the Olsen twins, aka Mary Kate and Ashley? Or should I say Harry, Kate, and Trashley? Nice, sick burn, Peta. I guess they wore or wear fur, so they made a dress up game where they look like zombies. The text in this game just forces this message down your throat. Oh my god. That is awful. Animal fur. It's stupid, so let's move on to something else that's just as stupid commando chicks. You have to stick her chicken before they go into a shopper's cart three times to win. I don't know who or what possessed this chicken, but this just looks dumb. The only video I could find is one video of this guy and he couldn't get past level three. He claims he's clicked the chicken many times, but the game just doesn't respond. But since I can't play the game for myself, I have to say it could be a skill issue. Don't shoot me, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying we don't know if it is or not. All three levels are the same. The only thing that changes is the person's color scheme. When you lose, it says because of you, people have salmonella poisoning and another is Yeah, dead. because I prevented them. I think I actually eat everything. <laughs> yeah, because you got some salmonella. Yeah, because you couldn't get the chicken home in time and it freaking rotted. Holy shit. Every single day. And never once have I gotten salmonella poisoning from it. You get... No, you get salmonella poisoning from chicken. Another chicken is when dead. it's raw. One of the few foods that I think I actually eat every single day. And never once have I gotten salmonella poisoning from it. You get salmonella... Wait. Wait, is salmonella from eggs, actually? What is... raw or uncooked meats. It's not the chicken's fault that you don't know how to properly cook your meat. There's <laughs> harm in eating chicken, but Peter won't tell you that. They're just gonna try and push their agenda. Now it's time for breast not animal tests. Finally, breast not animal tests. Give a me a break. There's that periodically flip over and you just gotta make sure you click on the breasts. Probably the most impactful PETA game yet. This just goes until you lose and then it says animals. What the fuck is that periodically flip over and you just gotta make sure you click on the breasts probably the most impactful PETA game yet this just goes until you lose and then it says animals <laughs> what I can't hear you you're really ear raping. Perfectly cut screams. Dude, Sorry. I love the uh, Minecraft one where it's called uh, by a uh, Willinator. There's this guy that gets freaked the f out over a uh, what's it called? A skeleton trap. Yeah. What the? I fuck? love is that, that one. Elmo or is Elmo trying to get killed on the crew? What the fuck? Elmo has his arms out and his legs down on the cross. I guess I'm watching it. Oh my god, I got a GTA 5 bag. Is this girl wear wearing pink lad? <laughs> you try to cut my cheeks. Hey, how are you?
So when you're a little kid and then all the family members start running after you, pretending to be the boogeyman or something, and it's all fun and games until he starts getting closer to you going... <laughs> So there's this guy talking right, he's going downstairs in a ravine, and then his friend just die comes down like dies by four damage and he goes, Ooh, he dies. Oh, this one's a funny one. It's games and movie stops getting closer to you going. <laughs> she stepped on a bear trap. <laughs> oh gummy bear. Oh god, it's cringe. <laughs> the guy says, the guy gives the old lady, hey, can you make a video of me? He says, oh, sure, and starts chasing her by screaming. What the hell? <laughs> so she, she finishes up her, like, whatever in a mug, and she said, wait. Oh, sure. No, this one. <laughs> Wanting to sleep the mosquitoes in my room. <laughs> Please don't be a Dragon Ball Z person. <laughs> this girl is getting a baby. <laughs> Wait, dude. Please don't show me help. Cats make some weird sounds. Did you just turn on? Oh, I've seen this video twice. This guy comes up. He has like. He has I've heard a call from William. Oh my god! You got me killed, mom! Oh, that's what Case does. He gets so freaking mad at us. He's like, You made me die! Would you stop talking? As oh, Bangalore says, was it the gun or was it you? Race, race. This guy has like a giant bald spot on the head. I thought the clown was just. I thought it was a clown cos clown or someone in a costume. Lowe's just a guy. They've met two people. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's under his bed. This guy's under this guy's bed. And he gets his fingers and like twinkle them up and down on this guy's face. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> what? Look up like Moscow the video and look at the guy dance. The guy's. <laughs> Yeah, his legs like that's actually like really hard to do. Yeah, I tried doing it last night. That's not what she said. Oh, Holy right. shit! Oh, he's a god. He's literally a god. He's the second coming of Christ. Right, right. This guy's in, uh, in a jump rope in a school hallway, high school hallway, and he burst the fire alarm or the water thingy. Oh damn! That sucks. Yeah, and then the fire alarm goes out. Ouch. Is there a problem here? Yeah, there is a problem. Watch this. <laughs> oh no, it's a bait! It's a bait! Well, imagine a middle of a high school and the whole school is there watching. When you think you, when you think a bug touched you. He has a drill and he has this thing of like some liquid and he turns it on and the, the whatever was in the cup just spilled everywhere. Like 
Ah, 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 yeah, ha, da, 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 this person was on FaceTime with this guy. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey, yeah. Oh, you want oh, me to get oh, on the oh. world? No, um, sorry, I'm just listening to Moscow. <laughs> da, 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 da. Moscow. La 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 Is that a, that's a monkey? <laughs> that was the monkey noise. <laughs> that's jelly egg. Are gonna come out. A scout, a scout. Huh? <laughs> a scout, a scout. We use up the cabbie. Family of the Histon Duck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's this guy on Call of Duty or something? POV, you get bit by a fish in the nipples. Purple <laughs> nipple! Nipple bite. <laughs> by a piranha. That's a baby deer. Touch and see what happens. That's actually advice you don't do that because you'll leave your scent and then they'll have uh, predators track it. Yeah, then the. Froggy, how many toothbrushes do you want? He's gonna have a low number credit. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything that you see, except I don't see what you do. I release a sonic wave from my mouth. That was an avatar scene. I release a sonic wave from my mouth. Is this GTA racing? Main stutter of his life away. Oh, you are. Oh my god, he's my girl! This girl, this guy, we programmed his car so when he turns it on, he does that.
Be right back. I think my mom is coming home. Is that mom? Is she coming home? Because I am. Yeah. Yeah. Probably get mowing an hour. Race, let's do this. Giraffe. So if that's like I think a Spanish giraffe, and it had an eagle sound. Cause it's a grenade. Yeah. <laughs> you know the guy did like a uh, Fortnite building on uh, Subway Surfers. He did it on Minecraft. Yeah, I seen that one with <laughs> this guy got eaten by an anime woman in VR. <laughs> Man, that's an interesting social experiment. It's a freaking, it's a freaking mountain lion. What a waifu. In GTA. <laughs> Who am I watching? This guy put over the much salt on the steak. Look at giant chunks of it. Salt. Yeah. Like, Christ, the guy, the guy's gonna go into cardiac arrest. And what is, this guy got some big eyebrows, and he's playing Super Smash Brothers. Whoa, what the fuck is happening to me? <laughs> me trying to sleep at 4 a.m. Cats come down the alley. El el alley. Oh, it sounds like they could cut avocado. Yeah. <laughs> e no, 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 no. What the fuck? 
Markiplier has his own like little like like a big head doll in this game. Like you know like the big swivelly heads? There's one of them but of Markiplier in this game. It can be found in a pod. Mm. Do I even have lithium in this place? No, but I wish I had lithium. I'm actually somewhat getting... Maybe somewhat getting close to done. I mean, I got all the tubes throughout my base done. I see I start putting up the chambers that will actually be things. My remote died. Dude, I'm playing Builder Mint. I spent three dollars. Uh, wait, keep this on your head. A gem tree. Uh, and when you when you join Builder Mint, you get 100 gems. Okay. Now a few okay. week, months ago. They added a thing known as a, the gem tree. The gem tree tr generates one gem every uh, every five minutes, and it co and a gem tree costs 150 gems. So I spent three dollars to get enough gems for a gem tree, and I started out two. Right, a gem tree costs 150 gems. Right. Also, in this game, whatever like. When you use gems to build a structure, you can actually destroy the structure for the same amount of gems. Alright? So, Wyatt, I started out with 300 gems. You want to take a guess how many gems worth of trees I have right now? 500. 150,000. At the start of the day? No, like this. T I started with 300 g gems, and I now have. Actually, one. And it, my gems is harvested. It's literally giving me so many gems. Let's go. I used to have to wait hours for a tree. Now I can generate. Let's see. A Eleven trees and out. This is cat. In and Rage Shadow Legends, and the, these, they're playing it, right? And then AIDS real, Shadow and Legends. Cat, and then this real cat thing, ooh, he real, and starts trying to lick it on the TV, like. I remember, I, I remember sometimes, in, oh, there's an, is that the, no, no, no. Oh, that's the nanobot's cage. Oh, sh Not again. It was taking over two and a half minutes to get the amount of gems I'm producing into a cell into a selling building. That's a lot of gems. If it's a backing up so much where I have to have like where like the trees are halfway done before it literally empties, that's great. That is a dream. That's a miracle. I may go outside in a little bit and just go play again. Wow, you're doing something that I don't ever do. Travel to the foreign dimension known as the outside world. Oh, wow. Okay, this battery's dying. This ion battery is about to die. Oh, why am I trying to reinforce my base? I literally have a whole strength of 91. Oh, 
Too bad I can't put the tube. Oh, I can put the tubes. Okay. All right, your next witness. I think the prawn suit's in the way. Go ahead, insert your dominance. I start out. Uh, I was wrong about what I said. I didn't have a hundred fifty thousand gems. I have two hundred fifty thousand. Woo! Oh, that's. And by the way, so that translates to over two thousand dollars worth of gems that I literally got for free. Brandon's gonna replay it and win. It's a plastic baseball bat. It is execution of. Stop bringing footage. Please don't throw me off this truck. <laughs> I heard that your dad's uh, truck broke. Truck broke down. Oh, I think he got charged like a shitload of money. I think it was like five thousand oh, dollars. I think uh, I I don't know what it was. I knew like it was in the thousands of dollars. Yeah, I think he said Scum five thousand dollars. I think because I think he made a Facebook post. My mom saw it, and I watched it with her. Yeah, I, I heard about it too. Apparently, yeah, he ain't happy about it. Like he's not like all stressed up right now, but as far as I know. But I hope. Come down here. Why? That's a case. Hey, look, it's a case. It's case. Cool. What about this? That's a laser gun. I'm. Wait. He just watches. No, don't. Please. Please. I have a family. I have a family. There's no steel bomber thing. Okay.
Holy shit! I look- I am messing with my camera. If I put a comics, it looks unholy. That is bad. What is this camera? I can do a hexagon.